welcome to our new space. <laughs> um, we got our basement redone and hope you like it. We'll be decorating it over the next few months, but I like it way better. So we'll see how the workout goes in here. I haven't done it before. I haven't worked out in a week. It feels like a month. <laughs> so we'll see how this all goes. Um, but happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Father's Day for those of you that are celebrating today. I hope you have a great day. We will have to social distance my dad because he will not come in the house. Um, so today we are doing a, what are we doing? Oh, <laughs> push pull. So, um, what you need is a yoga mat. Um, I would have two sets of dumbbells. I would have like a lighter set and then a heavier set. I might just stick with the light set, but you guys do whatever you need to do. If you don't have dumbbells, soup cans, can of food, whatever. Um, a stability ball. If you don't have a stability ball, then sliders. All of this is modified if you don't have sliders. Paper plates. If you're going to be on more of like a hardwood or this is, this is vinyl, it's not real, um, <laughs> then, you know, um, a towel or something that will slide easy. Um, and that is and oh, a chair, if you want, you um, will not need it if you have a stability ball. If you do not have a stability ball, you will need a chair. So make sure it's cozy. You can also use a couch, maybe. Um, you will be putting your back on it and you'll be putting your back on like the seat part. So you don't wanna, you know, you don't want it to press into you. All right, so uh, I'm gonna get the music started and we'll get started, okay? I feel like I haven't taught in so long. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, can you guys hear the music? Okay, awesome. All right. All right. Let me get my timer started. We will start with the warm up. All right. So we are starting with just some arm circles right now. We will be doing some upper body. So we want to feel so good today. Oh, I haven't moved. I haven't moved in a week. <laughs> I told you, you guys are my motivators. I need you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Good job, guys. All right, let's reverse. Make them big, make them small, whatever feels good to you. Good job, guys. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. I'm so sick of this rain. <laughs> It needs to go away. All right, relax. So we are gonna go, um, we're gonna do a squat to overhead reach. So feet shoulder width apart. We are squatting, keep your core engaged and just reach through the sky for like a little stretch. You do not have to go super low with these squats. Whatever feels good to you. Good job guys. Taking it nice and easy for this warm up. It'll get a little fancy at the end. But right now we're just hanging out here. Good job, guys. Remember, you can take a little longer for your stretch. Sometimes it'll feel nice on those shoulders, maybe that back. All right, give me two more. All right, good job. So next, we're gonna do a plank walkout. If you have wrist problems, you are just going to be here, touching your toes and coming back up for hamstrings. Otherwise, you're doing a plank walkout, your core is engaged, and then you're walking back up to standing. Whatever works for you, I'll be here. If you have wrist problems and don't want to get on the ground, then you are hanging out here. We're working on those hamstrings. We're going to stretch them out a little bit, warm them up. If you're doing these plank walkouts, you are warming up 
your core, your arms, your shoulders, and your hamstrings. Feel so good. So good. Good job. It feels so good to move. Like I kept telling myself that I didn't really want to exercise, but in reality, my body craves it. Good job, guys. All right, give me one more of whichever option you decided upon. Good job. All right, everyone's going to stand up. We're doing our beautiful back lunge to torso rotations. Take your time with these. Remember, if it's uncomfortable for the torso rotation, don't do it. We're just warming up those legs, warming up the back, trying to feel good on a Sunday. Oh, I'm already sweating. <laughs> Maybe it's just, I don't know what's happening. I woke up sweating, it's just a hot day. <laughs> Good job, guys. Remember, take your time with these. And I say that because a lot of the time, I go faster than I want you to. So go at your own pace, whatever feels good. Good job, guys. We're getting it. All right, now we have skaters. So remember, the low impact option is Step, touch, okay? Otherwise, you're exploding side to side and touching. Here, go for it. Keep your core engaged. Reach for the ground. If you want to touch the ground, go for it. Whatever feels good. Whoop, don't fall over. Whatever feels good for you. Otherwise, step, touch. It's like a curtsy, but not. Whoop. Remember, whatever feels good for you. It's just a warm up. You don't have to get cray. Take your time. Almost there. You got it. You got it. Woo! Get it on a Sunday. How great would it be if I kept saying the day of the week and I was so wrong? Almost there. It's going to happen one day, guys. I know it. And relax. All right. Make sure you have all your equipment set up. And uh, we'll get started. We're starting with downward dog, guys. Okay, so, <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get set up in our downward dog position. We're going to bring our right leg up, bring it in, bring it out, down. We're here. Alternate. Go for it. Remember, grip the ground. If this is too challenging, then I want you to just be in a low plank. If you have wrist problems, just get in that low plank. Otherwise, we're here. Good job, guys. Alternating legs, using that butt muscle to bring it up. Woo! Feeling good. Putting a little touch of yoga in here, because I'm a fake yogi. <laughs> Almost there, less than five seconds. And relax. All right, we're getting into bent over rows to Arnold presses. So get your weights. I'm going to start with fives. So remember, bent over rows, core engaged, your row, stand up, and we're here. Arnold presses. Okay? Down, row, up, Arnold press. Arnold press is just a fancier, a fancier shoulder press. Feel fancy. Good job, guys. Remember to squeeze those shoulder blades together when you get into those bent over rows. Make sure that back is flat. Make sure those knees are bent. Make sure that core is engaged when you're bent over rows. Good job, guys. I know when a lot of people think of a push-pull workout, they just think of back and chest. But I'm getting a little creative here. It's going to be great. Less than five seconds. You got it. Woo! And relax. All right. We got one of my faves. Push-ups. So, you can use the chair if you want to do chair push-ups. You can do knee push-ups. You can do all fours, regular, whatever you want. I'm going to go for those knee push-ups. Grip the ground. And go for it. Core 
engaged, take your time. Really focus on these push-ups. There's nothing fancy to them. We're doing what we can. Really push away from the ground. Keep that core engaged. Whew. You got it, you got it. Remember, you can be on all fours. This guy, Whee. you're still working it. Or you can do it on the chair or on the wall, whatever works for you. If you can do your legit push-ups, oh my God, where your knees are off the ground. I'm proud of you. Still too weak for those real push-ups, not ready. I can do one. <laughs> Good job, guys, we got this. Remember, if you need to take a break, take a break and then get right back into it. We got less than five seconds, let's see what you got. And relax. All right, we got Romanian deadlifts. We're using both legs this time. I'm gonna use my five pounds, you can use 10, you can use 15, you can use 20. So what we're doing is our feet are going to be shoulder width apart, our knees are slightly bent, our core is engaged. We are hinging at the waist. We're down like we're shaving our legs with the dumbbells. Use your glutes and your heels and push up. We're down, hinge, and push up through the heels. Core engaged, back flat, shoulder blades together. Good job, guys. Remember, hinging. It's not squatting, it's hinging at the waist like you're bowing. Back up. Bend those knees, take that time. You don't want to rush it. Really push through those heels. Thrust those hips together. Forward, not together. What? <laughs> Thrust them forward. Pew! Getting those hamstrings. Getting those glutes. Getting those lower back muscles. Less than five seconds. You got this. And relax. All right, guys. Here's where we're getting fancy. This is what the stability ball is for. I'll show you on the chair. This chair is not ideal for this, but your back is going to be on it. You're going to be in a bridge. If you don't have a chair, you can do it on the ground. Otherwise, you're on your stability ball and you're doing a chest press. We're down. We're up. So whatever works for you, if you're on the ground and you're doing your hips up with your core engaged, sounds perfect. Otherwise, you're here. If you're using your chair, that's cool too. Whatever modification works for you, we're hanging out here. These lights are freaking bright. Over here just staring at them. <laughs> when we got new lighting down here, we were like, whoa, it was like a dungeon down here before. We had like two lights. Now we have so many. Good job, guys. Make sure with this chest press, you're trying to hold those dumbbells at a 45 degree angle. We're almost there. And relax. All right. We are going to set those weights down. We are grabbing a stability ball or plates. I'm assuming a lot of people just have plates, so I'll show you this one. I'm doing a knee tuck. Get in that plank position. Core engaged, gripping the ground. Tuck those knees and back out into the plank. If you're doing the stability ball one, it's harder. Get into your position. We'll see. We'll see what fall over. We got this. All right. Core engaged, knee tuck. We're hanging out here. We are really working on a lot of stability. Good job, guys. Remember, you can use plates. You can use a towel. Whatever works for you. Take your time. If you need a break, take it. Otherwise, get it. Woo! We got it. We got it. Working our core. Working those arms. Gripping the ground so we don't hurt our wrists. If you need to take a break, you take a break. Five Reset. Seconds. Five seconds. Cycle and relax. Woo! We made it through the first round. You know what you're doing next. Get your water. Get your sweat towel that I finally remembered. <laughs> get whatever you need. Switch up the weights if you need it. I might get a little crank, go up to 10, we'll see. <laughs> All right, guys, get ready to get set up. Remember, the first exercise we have is downward dogs with the knee crunch guy. All right, so let's get 
get set up into our downward dogs. All right, go for it. Remember, we're alternating. Leg up, crunching in, back up, and down. Other leg, you got it. Take your time with these. Remember the modification if you have wrist pain is a low plank. Good job, guys. A little treat for those people that like working on their core a lot. I don't normally start with a core exercise in the round, but I was feeling, I don't know, I was feeling different. I was like, let's just do it. Just get it. Woo! We got it. We got it. Pushing through. Gotta love those downward dogs with a little core. Woo! Less than five seconds. We got this. And relax. All right, guys. Bent over rows to Arnold presses. Grab your weights. I might regret this. Why do these tens feel so much heavier? Some fives. I don't know. Okay. Visit. Science. Who knows? All right. Row. Stand up. Shoulder press. <laughs> Good job. My weak shoulders don't like this. I hope yours do. Good job. Whew. Breathe through it. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Try not to. Try, oh, try not to bounce when you do your rows. I don't want to see this. None of this. Okay, that means it's too heavy. You should be able to row and squeeze and relax. No bouncing. It's not bouncy day today. Well, that should be the name of one of the one of the days. Bouncy day. <laughs> Five, seconds. Five seconds. We got this. We're getting it. And relax. All right, you're setting those weights down. We're going to do our push-ups. All right, guys, get into it. Let's do it, let's do it. Grip the ground, core engaged. Breathe with it. Really push away. All right, try to keep your thumbs at nipple line. Core engaged. Flat back, and by that I mean I don't want I don't want any of this awkward arching. Okay, even if you're on all fours, you should have a flat back, right? Even if you're here, flat back. Good job, guys. You got it. Push ups feeling good. Woo! It's hard to talk during these. I apologize. Five seconds, enjoy the rest of my talking. <laughs> and relax. All right, we got our Romanian deadlifts. Grab your weights. I'm still sticking with my 10 pounds. Gonna have regrets next round, we'll see. Remember, feet, shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, core engaged. We're pretending to shave our legs. We're hinging at the waist and we're up. Beep. Using those glutes. Pushing through that heel. Keeping that core engaged. Oh, it feels so good. You should feel a light, light stretch in the hamstring. No pulling. Just a light little guy. So if you can't go as low as me, no problem at all. Remember, I don't want you looking up. Neutral head the whole time. I know my head has not been neutral because I keep looking at you. But I want you to be better. Always and forever. You got it. Breathe through it. Take your time, not a speed X 
got a plank knee tuck. You can use your sliders. Or you can use your stability ball. Whoa, okay, I'm already falling over. <laughs> All right, guys, you get it. Remember, our knee tuck. Oh, I'm just falling everywhere. Try to keep those shoulders over those hands. Just gripping the ground. Good job, guys. Don't let those hips, don't let those hips sink. Okay? If you want that beautiful plank. Woo! You got it. If you can't go out as far, this feels better. Or you want to put your knees on it more. You can do that. It's a little easier. Still challenging. Good job, guys. Take a break if you need it. And get right back into it. We're almost there. Five seconds. Five seconds. And relax. Woo! We made it through round two. Get your water. Wipe your sweat. Maybe you're not as sweaty as me. Which is totally fine. I'm a sweater. Make sure you have the right weights that you want to use for the last round. And we're going to dominate it. Five seconds till we gotta go. We're coming for ten seconds. All right. Remember, guys, we're getting into that downward dog to the plank knee. All right. Or your low plank, whatever works for you. Go for it. Grip the ground, and we're into it. Make sure you alternate. If you want to be fancy when you're in your low plank, you can do a little bit of this guy. Out, out, in, in. I promise you, it'll be easier on your wrists, but not on your core. Good job, guys. Feeling good. Sweating it out. You got this. Last round, we're going to get it. Woo! Five seconds. Five seconds. And relax. All right. Bent over rows to arm presses. Get those weights. Let's go for it. Is anyone else regretting not going up to just eight instead of ten? Oh, just me? We don't own eight pounds. We have three. What else do we have? Five. Ten. We have one fifteen. Who only has one fifteen pound weight? I don't know. Just us. <laughs> and then it goes up to like thirty, which there's no way I'm picking up thirty pounds for a circuit. <laughs> no thanks. Good job, guys. You got this. Remember, it's the last round. Breathe through it. Woo! Feeling those muscles work. I know they missed me. I missed your muscles, too. <laughs> Less than five seconds. We got this. And relax. All right, guys. We're getting those push-ups. Your shoulders feeling good? Your chest feeling good? I hope so. All right, let's get it. Remember, take your time if you want to get real fancy. You can go all the way down, out, and back up. Oh, that feels good. Good job, guys. Just keep that core engaged. I'm going to be on my mat. My knees are getting weird. Good job. Remember, keep that core engaged, especially when you push back. If you feel like your core doesn't want to do too much, do the all fours push up. That's this one. Okay? Your core still has to be engaged, but it doesn't work as much. Good job, guys. It's getting hard, but we got this. Five seconds. Let's get it. And relax. All right. Remaining in deadlifts. Grab those weights. Five seconds. Get set up. Remember. 
Knees slightly bent, core engaged. We're hinging. Woo! Flat back and up, pushing through the heels, using those glutes, shaking those legs, trying to keep those shoulder blades together as much as you can. Good job, guys. It's not a squat, it's a hinge. Like we're bowing. Woo! Good job. Try to keep your head as neutral as possible. Just like that. Like I'm standing, but I'm hinging. <laughs> you got this. Remember to keep that core engaged. If you feel any pain in your back, drop the weight. You got this. We are getting it. Five seconds. Woo! And relax. Okay. Let's get set up for our stability ball chest press or you're on your yoga mat or your back is on your chair. Whatever works for you. Let's get into it. Woo! I am feeling strong. I hope you are too. Feeling good. Movement is amazing. Literally nothing makes me feel better than a good workout. Not even cats, not even chocolate. <laughs> good job guys, you got this. Power through, if you feel any pain in your shoulders, try to turn those weights 45 degrees. If there's still pain, drop the weights, do the movement. You got it, keeping those glutes up, core engaged, pushing through the heels. If you get tired, whoop, little rest, then back up, getting it. Five seconds. Five seconds, we got this. Recover for ten. And relax. All right, here, done with those weights. Grab your stability ball or your sliders. And we, I'm gonna try it on my, on my yoga mat. We are in it. We are getting those knee tucks. Good job, guys. Grip the ground if you need to take a break. If there's too much pressure on your wrists, get into a plank, a low plank on your forearms. You can do those little fun toe taps again. Good job, guys. You can never have too many variety of planks. Never. Remember, you can put your knees more on the ball. Really pushing in. You'll feel it even more. Oh, my goodness. Core. Woo! My weakest link. <laughs> Five seconds. We got it. We got it. And relax. So you're going to 
bring your hands together, shoulders back and down for a nice chest stretch. If you have a wall near you and you prefer to do a wall stretch, you can put your arm on the wall, lean a little forward and turn away. You can put your arm a little higher if you feel it better in your chest. Whatever works for you, okay? And then, you know, eventually you'll switch and you'll do the same thing if you can do that. Otherwise, if you have no wall, you're hanging out here. Still stretch, and I feel it in my biceps. I mean, they're tight from, we had to move a lot of furniture. <laughs> very, very heavy furniture. <laughs> All right, relax. Let's do some arm circles because we did a lot of shoulder work. So you can start with smaller ones if you want. I'm going to go for big. I'm going for the big circles. I'm going back because it feels good to me. Really get it. Really think about up, out, back. Good job, guys. Let's do two more. All right, reverse it. Good job. Really go out like a big hug up. Good job. If only we could have big hugs. Boo, social distancing and coronavirus. <laughs> All right, let's give me one more. All right, relax. So the next stretch is a back stretch. It's easier if you have a door frame. I am not opening that door, it's a mess in there. But otherwise, you. Can cross your right leg over your left and lean to the right. Sorry, lots of uh, different left rights for me. So yeah, again, right over left and then left arm overhead. You can tilt your left heel up your foot. So, I'm sorry, it's complicated. It's complicated. Just do, do what I'm doing. And relax. All right, so now we're doing our left foot over our right. Let's see if I can get this. And then we're tilting our right foot to the right and then reaching over with our right arm. Did I get it? Probably. <laughs> Good job, guys. You should feel this side body, but you might also feel it in part of your back. Just depends on what's tight. You can feel it in your lats. I'm all over the place with what's tight on me. Holding this for a little longer. All right, relax. All right, so now we're gonna try one more thing. It's like a little yoga pose. So you're putting your left, your right arm. You're doing this. I can't explain it, I'm not a yoga lady. I just know this feels really good on my shoulders. So I have my right arm over my left, like, like this. And I'm pushing my hands together. If you can't do this, it's okay. You can just relax. Um, but this feels really good. So again, left arm, right arm. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, Dad, you're having a hard time. I'll teach you later. All right, and then relax and switch. So now I'm bending my arms 90 degrees. My left is coming over my right. And then I'm intertwining my palms. I'm not so good at this because I'm so tight, but if you're really good, I think your palms like come together. I don't have that. <laughs> See, again, not a yoga lady. Just pretend. But it feels really good between my shoulder blades. And I hope it does for you too. And relax. All right, guys, you made it through. Thank you so much for joining me. I super appreciate it. Hope you had a great workout. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and happy Father's Day. Bye.